Kylian Mbappe has no doubt been one of the world's best players over the last kind of three to five years. You know, he managed to make the breakthrough at Monaco in the 16-17 season as an 18-year-old helping them reach the Champions League semi-final as well as winning the Liga title with the likes of Bernardo Silva, Fabinho, Falcao, some incredible players, you know, alongside him. It really was an incredible team that they did have. He did make the move to PSG in the summer of 2017 after PSG signed Neymar and since then he's obviously gone on and done some phenomenal things in the French capital you know he's managed to win I think four or five Liga titles he's managed to get top scorer a few times you know he's always been in absolutely incredible form for them always at least 20 goals plus a season you know he's been very very good the last few years and even at the World Cup for France he's really really impressed as well you know scoring some vital goals in the World Cup especially the goals he did score in the final as well you know if he wasn't there Argentina probably would have hammered them it was as simple as that but it's fair to say Mbappe's future is really up in the air at the minute he refused to sign a new contract and his obviously current contract is expiring next summer with the option of a further year Year, but it's looking more and more likely that he will be heading for the exit door and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at three clubs that could actually have a real chance of landing Kylian Mbappe this, our next summer. Now what I will say is this is just stuff I've read online, you know, for media news and stuff like that. And even a few quotes that Mbappe has said himself. And just looking at all the kind of different possibilities of clubs we could see him at in the future. And three clubs that I think could have a genuine chance of landing him next summer or maybe even a few years down the line in the future. We'll have to see again. Some of them, it's kind of big ifs, you know, certain stuff needs to fall into place but anyway the first club and of course the most obvious one is Real Madrid now look it has been known for many many years even since his Monaco days that Mbappe has wanted to sign for Real Madrid to the Real Madrid themselves have wanted to sign Kylian Mbappe it's you know been well reported that um you know he is a Real Madrid fan you know there was obviously the famous photo back in 2013 of all the Ronaldo posters in his room now there was always a bit of confusion about those posters were they just kind of well they're all obviously Ronaldo as you can see is he a Ronaldo fan or is he a Real Madrid fan now I think he probably was a Real Madrid fan growing up I'd say a bit of both but I do think Ronaldo was his main idol and was probably the reason behind that if you get what I mean but he certainly always had a liking for Real Madrid you know there's massive I suppose French connections with Real Madrid between the likes of Zidane many famous French players have played for them before now looking at it from Real Madrid's perspective they've obviously just signed Jude Bellingham this summer who's an incredible start to life at Madrid and they are having a very very good season again after what was quite a difficult season for them last year but the only thing I will say about Real Madrid is they do have two very good other attackers in Vinicius Jr you know who's a left winger and of course Rodrigo who's a right winger he's been in very good form this season and they do have a very very good team all around of course Mbappe was very close to signing for Real Madrid Madrid in the summer of 21 there was a lot of talk that he wasn't going to extend his contract to PSG and he was going to move to Madrid but he did decide to sign a new extension of PSG it was a three-year extension but he did actually have the option to leave for free in 2024 and it's fair to say some Real Madrid fans were quite annoyed that he didn't join the club you know there was a lot of talk that he was going to but he obviously decided to then you know stay at PSG PSG. So there was quite a lot of anger from a lot of Madrid supporters. They felt kind of let down after all this hype. And even some members of the board, you know, were not happy that the decision was made. But again, pin 
seems have kind of made up. I mean, you know, it's a few years ago now and that type of thing. But I do think as things stand, Real Madrid are the favourites. I mean, I don't think there's a better club to go to if you want to win that Champions League. And that's something that Mbappe will no doubt be desperate for, especially after that, you know, World Cup disappointment and the Ballon d'Or as well. Moving on to the next club, which is another interesting one, and that is, of course, Liverpool. Now, I know what you're thinking, Liverpool. Now, to be fair, to Liverpool have had a very good start to this season. They're not quite top of the league, but still, they have been in very good form. You know, they're managing to pick up wins. They've massively improved. They've got the likes of Darwin, Nunes, Luis Diaz, Cody Gakpo. They already have some great attackers at Liverpool, and they're probably not a club that definitely desperately needs an out and out attacker but one man's future that is up in the air a little bit is Mohamed Salah now despite having a fantastic start to the new season he has been absolutely brilliant again this season there's no doubt about that but his contract will be up in the summer of 2025 and you know there has been a lot of interest from Saudi Arabian clubs in Salah and I reckon if Liverpool are to sign Mbappe in order to afford it, afford the wages and of course the space as well, you know, like Mbappe is mainly a right sided attacker. He can do a bit of every role, but you know, his main position is the right and so is Salah's. So I do think that probably will require Salah moving on in the summer to free up space. And the only thing that raises question marks with Liverpool is the ownership and can they afford it it's fair to say John Henry and FSG have been known for being a little bit cheapskate in the transfer market by a lot of people for a long time they don't kind of spend normally more than 60 million now John Henry actually who is Liverpool's owner tried to sign Mbappe in the summer of 2017 he even flew him around on his private jet in Monaco that summer trying to convince him but obviously Mbappe decided I was a bit too young to move to the Premier League he kind of thought to himself so he decided to go and join PSG instead kind of stay in France that is the only thing but if you think about it with Liverpool don't forget they did make a big bid for Caicedo you know 100 plus million they made a big bid obviously to um, sign Subasly and they obviously managed to get him in the end for a lot of money so it's not like it's completely mission impossible if they were to free up some wages. I mean, they do pay Salah a lot of money. The only thing I do worry about is the wage structure. But the one advantage with Mbappe is he is coming to the Premier League. And, you know, the Prem is known to be one of the best leagues in the world, you know. And that would be huge for the Premier League. Imagine having that rivalry of Mbappe and Haaland. It would be crazy. Moving on to the next club, which is probably the least likely of all of these three clubs to sign them. But there is still a slim possibility if certain things happen. I mean, we have seen crazy things happen in football is, of course, AC Milan. Now, I know what you're thinking, how can they afford them? We'll get on to talk a little bit like that. But Mbappe has not hidden his admiration for AC Milan. He had a child minder when he was, I think, 10 years old who was Italian and they used to always watch AC Milan games at home and he was actually an AC Milan fan growing up now I know what you're thinking you know what you mean about the Real Madrid fan thing as well but to be fair a lot of kids would tend to be you know support two teams as kids you know it's not uncommon if you think about it. like I had some friends that were the same it's not uncommon at all at that age now how attractive would AC Milan be to Mbappe well he did say it and award ceremony I think last year that if there was any Italian club he'd go for the only one he'd want to sign for is AC Milan if it was to happen he would not be interested in Juventus or Inter or any of those other teams which is certainly interesting now AC Milan obviously had a great run in the Champions League last year they won the Serie A in 2022 they've got some quality young players in their team I mean Rafael 
Gabriel Leao was brilliant. I mean, him on the left wing alongside Mbappe. I mean, imagine that for an attack. And maybe they managed to bring in a number nine as well. A really good striker. You know, there's Teo Hernandez. There's Kalulu, Tamori. There's some fantastic young players there. But the only thing that I do fear AC Milan are missing is the finances. You know, they obviously had to sell Tonale to raise some money in the summer. They would need a lot of money. But on a free transfer, and this is the important thing, let's just say Real Madrid backed out and, I don't know, want to go for someone else instead, want to put more focus on maybe buying someone like Musial or someone like that. Well, then maybe, you know, AC Milan, a club like that, could become a possibility. I mean, maybe he wouldn't want to go to Man City because of Haaland. That, that is a team that I've not included here because I just don't think he'd want to go and play with Haaland. I just don't think two big egos like that would really work together, if you get what I mean. I don't think Arsenal would be attractive. And obviously, I've, of course, mentioned Liverpool as well and their attractions. But let's say that wasn't possible and he just wanted to leave PSG and go to a bigger league. And Milan were willing to pay the wages. They were willing to spend some money on some other players. I reckon it could definitely be an attractive destination for him. I do. I mean, the Serie A is a league that's rapidly improving as each year goes by. It'd be a massive statement for the league as well if they were to sign a player of his profile. So it'll certainly be interesting. Of course, there's still a slim, slim chance he stays at PSG, but I do have my doubts, to be honest. You know, we saw Luis Enrique coming out after his press conference, not being too happy with him despite scoring a hat-trick, which was a bit strange, to be honest. Uh, it just isn't looking good at the moment for PSG. It does look like they will probably lose him, but it'll certainly be very interesting to see where he does end up, you know, there's many other clubs as well, you know, maybe we'll do a part two on this, but to be honest, they're the only three that I could realistically see, you know, him join us. Anyway, do let me know in the comments, where do you guys think Mbappe will end up, you know, which club do you think would be the most likely, probably still is Real Madrid as thin stand, but I wouldn't rule out one of the other two, as crazy as that sounds. But do let me know that in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.